Yes. Today it's time to do a triceps routine with dumbbells. The routine will consist of three exercises and the idea as always is to work as directly as possible each portion of this muscle. I'm going to explain to you how to do the exercises correctly so that your results will skyrocket and how many sets and how many reps you have to do for each one of them. Remember that the tricep is a bigger muscle than the bicep. So if you want great arms, you should not overlook training this muscle group. As I said at the beginning of the video, this routine is designed to train all three portions of the triceps. This way we ensure that in the same workout we work all these muscle groups completely. For the routine to be effective, I will be giving you tips on how you have to do the exercises, but above all you have to choose an appropriate weight. This means that you will have to struggle to reach the number of repetitions that we will stipulate in each exercise, because if you are not using enough weight, the muscle unfortunately will not grow. Before starting the training, what we're going to do is an activation exercise for the triceps. With this exercise that we're going to do without weight, what we're looking for is to start taking blood to the muscle. And the main reason we do this is that it will also dramatically improve our neuromuscular connection. In this way, when we finish this activation period and start with the first one of the routines, the training is going to translate into better pumping and of course, that is what we are most interested in, more muscle mass. To do is the following, we can stand up or sit down as we feel more comfortable and the goal of the activation exercise is going to be to contract the triceps as much as possible. For that we stretch the elbows because the main function of the triceps is the same, to extend the elbow and you should already be noticing how the triceps contract. Now, to contract to the maximum also the long portion of the triceps that originates in the scapula unlike the others, we must pull back the arms as much as we can. From this position we hold about 5 seconds squeezing the triceps as much as possible but without getting too tired. Remember that we have to be fresh for the workout and this exercise is only for preparation, so don't get caught up in the activation. We're going to do this a total of 2-3 to three sets and we're going to rest 2 minutes before starting the training routine. The first exercise we're going to do is a triceps extension, lying on the floor with one hand. The purpose of this exercise is going to be to work both the short head of the triceps and the medium head because both are purely elbow extenders. In any case, since there is an internal rotation of the shoulder, as the exercise demands, the short portion of the triceps will be requested in greater measure. Before starting to do the first exercise, we have to make sure that we are positioned correctly and that we know how to execute it. This, we lie on the floor and bend our knees to be more stable. Remember that stability is key to bringing the tension to the muscle we want to train and not distribute it among others. Start with your arm stretched out and instead of keeping it directly over your shoulder, Bring it slightly towards the centre of your chest so you don't lose tension at the end of the exercise. The execution is very simple. From the initial position in which we have placed ourselves, we bend the arm without the dumbbell touching our body because that would mean resting and from there we extend the elbow completely so that the triceps contracts as much as possible. You already know from other videos that if you want to achieve maximum muscle development, you should focus on tightening the muscle throughout the whole process. This way, more fibres will be deployed, and in the long run, more muscle. We are going to do three series of this exercise of 10 repetitions with each arm. This exercise could also be done with both arms at the same time, but it's more complicated to execute correctly, so we will not do it like this. As I said, first we will do it with one arm, the 10 repetitions. Then we rest 20 seconds when we finish, and when we do it with the other arm, another 10 repetitions. This we're going to do three times in total because there are three series as we have commented. The second exercise we're going to do is a French press and in this case we're also going to be lying down on the floor. I recommend you put a towel, mat or cushion under the upper back so you have more range of movement with the dumbbells. The objective of this exercise is to work the triceps from a shoulder bending position so that it engages the long portion of the shoulder to a greater extent. In the exercise, we have to make sure, as always, that we are well placed and that we know how to execute it. We lie down on the ground and bend our knees to be more stable as in the first exercise. We join our elbows as much as we can without forcing the position and we throw them slightly back so that they are not directly over our shoulders. We start the repetition and flex the elbows as much as we can from the position. We extend the elbows without moving the shoulders that should be fixed against the support. In this case, the mat. We're going to do three series of the exercise of eight repetitions and remember to tighten the triceps along the whole process. Once we finish the stipulated repetitions, we will rest between sets a minimum of one minute and a maximum of two minutes depending on your state of recovery. 
As the third and last exercise of this routine, we will make a bi-series, combining two exercises that are an overhead triceps extension and push-ups on the floor. As you must know from my other videos, a bi-series are two exercises in a row, the same muscle group in this case, the triceps, and that have no rest between them. The object of this routine is to work all three portions of the triceps and thus finish exhausting the muscle. Of course, before doing this exercise, we have to make sure that we are well positioned and that we know how to execute it. For the first exercise of the bi series, we preferably sit on a chair with a back, if possible, to be more stable. We stand straight and facing forward and raise our arms above our head. This would be the initial position. We are going to do three series of this exercise of eight repetitions, and as you are seeing, I do it with a dumbbell because it is more comfortable for me. But you can do it with the first one arm and then another, as you want. And let's remember, as it is by series, now when we finish the eight repetitions without resting, we do the next exercise, which are the push-ups on the floor. We will see how to place ourselves and how to do them. We place ourselves straight. The hip, the back and the neck should be aligned, and we place our hands under the shoulders and at a width equal to or less than them close to our body and we should not touch the chest against the floor when we go down. To go up and complete an effective repetition, we push against the floor from the base of the palms. When you go up, remember to fully extend your elbows to contract your triceps. In this exercise, we'll do as many repetitions as possible, without neglecting the technique. That is to say, we will do repetitions to the muscle failure or what is the same, till you drop. Once we have reached the failure, we rest between one and two minutes and complete the three by series in total that we are going to do. We have already finished the triceps routine, but I'm going to leave you another exercise in my Instagram account so that you can substitute it for the overhead triceps extension that we have done in the last bi series. You can substitute it because both focus on working the long portion of the triceps. For example, you can do this routine for six weeks as I have left in the video, and the following six weeks you can do it but by substituting the triceps extension for the one I've left in my Instagram account. Regarding how many times to do this routine a week, as the normal will be to do it between one and two times a week, but if you have recovered and if you do not suffer stiffness. You can even do this three times a week, but always leaving at least one day of rest between training sessions. For a moment to say that you can transform your physique. There is still time, so if you contact me right now, we can start training from now. Both diet and training to achieve your goal and your transformation. I hope this triceps routine helped you. Tell me below how you're doing. What sensations have you had because I will be answering in the comments. And as always, best regards. Just go for it.